everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 27th of september 2022 let's start which is the first e-commerce company to set up the solar farms in india so recently amazon has announced its first solar project in india with three new solar farms in the state of rajasthan with a combined energy capacity of 420 megawatts okay and uh, amazon aims to use 100% renewable energy across its business by the year 2025 and the indian project includes a 210 megawatt project which is to be developed by renew power okay and next 100 megawatt project is to be developed by amp energy india and another is 110 megawatt project which is to be developed by brookfield renewable partners okay so amazon is the very first e-commerce company which has decided to set up the solar farms in india you can also be asked that in which state these solar farms would be set up so answer would be rajasthan state next is defense ministry signs the deal for dual role surface to surface brahmos missile with which company so defense ministry signed the deal for dual role surface to surface brahmos missile with bapl means brahmos aerospace private limited okay and the additional dual role means land and anti ship capable brahmos missiles will be acquired at 1700 crore rupees under the by indian category okay and talking about brahmos aerospace it is a joint venture between india and russia fine so you can also be asked that which two countries are associated with these brahmos missile answer would be india and russia which state is the host of the national conference of environment ministers so prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the national conference of environment ministers in ekta nagar in the state of gujarat okay and this two day conference will have six thematic sessions with the topics focusing on life combating climate change parivesh which is a kind of single window system for integrated green clearances then next is forestry management after that prevention and control of pollution and uh, wildlife management and plastics and the waste management fine so which state is the host for this particular conference answer would be gujarat state now apart from it the phd chamber of commerce and industry has organized a hybrid summit titled as sustainable textiles summit in new delhi okay and this summit is supported by ministry of micro small and medium enterprises that is msme so aim of the summit is to discuss the alternative ways to make the textile industry more sustainable and the experts from france sweden and germany will be participating in this meet okay so you can be asked that which city is the host of 
सस्टेनेबल टेक्सटाइल समिट दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाय एमएसएमई मिनिस्ट्री सो आंसर वुड बी न्यू दिल्ली नेक्स्ट इज व्हिच इज द मोस्ट रिचली एंडोर्ड अवार्ड इन साइंस इन द वर्ल्ड सो द ब्रेक थ्रू प्राइजेस वाज क्रिएटेड इन द ईयर 2010 बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिलिकॉन वैली एंटरप्रेन्योर्स एंड इट वाज इन न्यूज बिकॉज द 2023 विनर्स of the breakthrough prize which is also known as the oscars of science were announced recently in the life sciences category one for mathematics and one for physics okay and the winners will split a total amount of more than 15 million dollars okay so breakthrough prize is the most richly endowed award in science in the world you can also be asked it which particular prize is known as Oscars of science so answer would be breakthrough prize next is which is the first indian bank to get reserve bank of india approval for the rupee trade so india's public sector lender yuko bank is the very first bank in india to receive the rbi's approval for the rupee trade and uh, this kolkata based bank will open a special vostro account in gazprom bank of russia for trade settlement in the indian rupees so in the month of july rbi announced its decision to allow the indian banks to settle the trade in indian currency and rbi has also allowed the trade settlements between india and other countries including sri lanka and russia okay so which is this first indian bank to get rbi approval for the rupee trade this is yuko bank next is which public sector enterprise was recently accorded the maharatna status so central public sector enterprise rec limited formerly called as the rural electrification corporation has been accorded the maharatna status recently and order to this effect was issued by the department of public enterprises which works under the ministry of finance and talking about rec it is a non banking finance company which focuses on the power sector financing and development across india and with the grant of maharatna status now rec can enter into technology joint ventures or other type of strategic alliances okay so recently rec limited has been conferred with the maharatna status next is which international bloc has signed humanitarian assistance disaster relief guidelines so quad countries recently signed this humanitarian assistance disaster relief guidelines at a meeting in new york and the foreign ministers of australia india and japan along with the secretary of state of the us sign the guidelines for the quad partnership on humanitarian assistance and disaster relief in the indo pacific okay and this partnership was announced by the quad leaders in tokyo in the month of may 2022 so this is also important that which countries comes under quad so this is india japan australia and the us okay now apart from it union governments skill india initiative has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with samsung india why to upskill youth in india okay and under this samsung innovation campus it aims to upskill over 3000 unemployed youths from 18 to 25 years of age in emerging technologies for example artificial intelligence internet of things big data and coding and various type of other program okay so you can be asked that skill india has partnered with which technology company to upskill the youth in emerging technologies in india so correct answer would be samsung india okay next question dilip asbe has been reappointed as the md and ceo of which particular institution so the national payments corporation of india has reappointed dilip asbe as the md and ceo of the company for a period of 5 years okay 
and he took over as md and ceo of npci in january 2018 and uh, now he has been reappointed for next 5 years talking about npci it is an umbrella organization for operating the retail payments and settlement system in india right next is which country launched the innovation road map of the mission integrated bio refineries so india launched the innovation road map of the mission integrated bio refineries on the sidelines of the global clean energy action forum 2022 at pittsburgh usa okay and this road map has been developed by co-leaning with brazil canada european commission and the uk and the mission aims at greater collaboration and the need for increased financing for energy research development and demonstration research and development during the next 5 years through the public private investment okay so this is a project of india next is what are nistar and nipun which were released by the indian navy recently so recently indian navy has launched two indigenously designed and built diving support vessels named as nistar and nipun were in visakhapatnam so these vessels were built by hindustan shipyard limited and the vessels have complex diving support system and a deep submergence rescue vessel which will be deployed for deep sea diving and submarine rescue operations okay so these are actually diving support vessels next is who has been appointed as the director general of indian council of medical research that is icmr so the appointment committee of the cabinet has recently appointed rajiv behel who is a senior world health organization researcher as the director general of icmr and uh, he is the head of the research on maternal and newborn child adolescent health and aging at the world health organization and he will also be the secretary in departments of health research and before joining the who he was a senior scientist at the aims for 10 years okay so rajiv behel has been appointed as the director general of icmr next is apoa which was set up by india and four other asian countries is associated with the trade of which particular product so edible oil trade associations from india pakistan sri lanka bangladesh and nepal announced the setting up of asian palm oil alliance okay this is asian palm oil alliance so these are the five major palm oil importing countries in south asia and uh, atul chaturvedi who is the president in solvent extractors association of india has been named as the first chairman of this particular association and aim is to gain bargaining power and make imports sustainable fine so this association is related with palm oil okay and which five countries are involved in this india pakistan sri lanka bangladesh and nepal okay most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll come to our revision section which three categories we are covering today first of all we'll see some defense related current affairs after that we'll see important cities that were in news and at last we'll talk about the top performance in various sectors of various things okay let's start with defense current affairs which city played host to the harbor phase of japan india maritime exercise 2022 that is gmex so first of all you have to remember that gmex is the exercise between india and japan and this year the venue for the harbor phase of this exercise was visakhapatnam which country hosted the exercise pitch black 22 multilateral defense exercise so it was hosted by australia okay and also australia has hosted recently the kakadu multilateral exercise indian army and indian air force conducted a joint exercise named as gagan strike in which state 
so these two armed forces have organized the gangan strike in the state of punjab you have to remember that indian navy was not involved in this exercise at all okay india conducted a cyber security exercise which is a part of the international counter ransomware initiative in collaboration with which country so we have conducted the cyber security exercise along with the country uk the indian coast guard conducted sarex 22 national maritime search and rescue exercise in which city so sarex 22 has been conducted in chennai city vijay prahar 2022 is a defense exercise held between india and which other country so this is exercise between india and the usa and what was the venue for this exercise so answer would be baklo from the state himachal pradesh also don't forget that there is one more exercise between india and us named as yuddh abhyas and it is to take place in the month of october where in uttarakhand only basically venue is uttarakhand okay which country is the host of ulji freedom shield military exercise so the host of this event is south korea and this is exercise between south korea and the us india recently concluded a maritime partnership exercise with which country with the participation of ins sumedha so we have conducted this maritime partnership exercise with the country australia and from india side ins sumedha participated okay let's see important cities that were in news which city topped the global financial centers index in 2022 so it was topped by new york second was london and third was singapore okay which indian city is the host of global fintech conference in 2022 so the host for this conference was the city mumbai india the uae and the france held their first trilateral foreign ministers meeting in which city so answer would be new york which city is the host of global clean energy action forum so the host for this event was pittsburgh just we have talked about it during the lecture so it is pittsburgh usa which indian city has been nominated as the first ever shanghai cooperation organization tourism and the cultural capital this is varanasi which is the first smart city to sign memorandum of understanding for implementing a digital addressing system so indore is the very first smart city in india that has decided to implement a digital addressing system which city is the host of all india official language conference held in 2022 this is surat which city hosted the cyber crime investigations and intelligence summit 2022 so the venue for this event is bhopal madhya pradesh okay now at last we'll talk about the top performances in different sectors which industrialist has been conferred the france top civilian honor named as the chevalier de la legion de honor so this award has been conferred to swati piramal okay which state was india's top investment destination in the first 7 months of 2022 as per the recent dpiit report so india's top investment destination was andhra pradesh and at second andhra pradesh was followed with odisha state which indian zoological park tops the central zoo authority's recent rankings so this ranking has been topped by padmaja naidu himalayan zoological park that lies in darjeeling okay at second there was arignar anna zoological park in chennai and at third it was shri chama rajendra zoological garden that lies in mysore okay so these are the top 3 zoological parks in this ranking which state had topped in implementation of amrit sarovar program so in the implementation of amrit sarovar program uttar pradesh state was found to be at the top which indian shuttler holds the top spot in the men's single category in bwf world tour ranking this is hs pranay which indian city was ranked second in the asia pacific region in the top tech hubs list this city is bangalore which country emerged as the top sourcing nation 
in FDI equity flows into India in financial year 2021 to 22. So this is Singapore. Okay. Singapore is further followed with the country USA and at third there is Mauritius. Then at fourth there was Netherlands. Okay. So these are the top four countries in terms of top sourcing nation in FDI equity flows into India. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.